Warning! This video contains frank discussion of matters of sexual morality. Just thought you might want to know. Hey! Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first five commandments, and now it's time to tackle the sixth, Thou shalt not commit adultery. This time, rape. What is it? Is it part of the prohibition of the sixth commandment? Again, I'll be referring to the definition of rape set forth in the Catechism for what precisely it is. Rape is the forcible violation of the sexual intimacy of another person. It does injury to justice and charity. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2356, first two sentences. Now, obviously, if a person is raped, that's not a sin, and they're not the guilty party. The question is, is rape against the Sixth Commandment for the rapist? Did the rapist break Commandment 6? Well, based on this definition, rape has two defining characteristics. One, it's a sexual action had with someone else. Two, it's forced on the part of one of the parties, the rapist. Again, as with prostitution, the vast majority of rapings are with someone who the rapist isn't married to. They therefore qualify as either fornications or adulteries and automatically fall under the Sixth Commandment. However, what about the cases when rape is committed on a spouse? Let's look at the three criteria that make a choice lustful again and see whether rape applies. One. Lustful decisions always involve desiring a lesser aspect of sex, such as pleasure, more than a greater aspect, such as unity with a spouse. Again, the problem isn't with procreation, but with unity. Sex can't unite two people if one of them is being forced into it, and it can't involve total self-giving if one person is forcing themselves on the other and the other one is being forced into it. Therefore, rape fulfills criteria one. Two. Lustful decisions always involve sex or sex-based motives on at least some level. Yes, rape is clearly a form of sex. It therefore fulfills criteria two. Three, a lustful decision can be any action, word, or thought as long as it conforms to these criteria. Rape is an action, therefore it fulfills criteria three. So it follows that having fulfilled these three criteria, rape is also always lustful and always against the sixth commandment. Next time, What's homosexuality, and does it fall under the Sixth Commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.